What's going on guys, it's David here, and in this video, I'm gonna go out on the streets and approach some girls for you guys, plus I'm gonna give you my three best tips for programming your mind to be insanely confident so that when you see a girl that you want to approach, you do not hesitate. Let's get started. All right, I'm about to go hit the streets, but first, let me give you my first tip, and that is to warm up. The same way you wanna warm up your muscles before you start lifting heavy weights, you wanna warm up your social confidence muscles before you start talking to girls. So if you know that you're going somewhere where there's gonna be girls who you're gonna to wanna to approach, whether that's a crowded public area or a bar, beforehand, you wanna do a few things to get you outside of your comfort zone so that you feel loose when you get there. So for example, give a few strangers a high five or a fist bump or do something a little bit crazier and get down and do some push-ups in public and that is gonna get your mind right. That being said, let's head over to a crowded spot and I will do a few warm-up exercises on the way there. We are at the location and I'm feeling loose, so let's get it started with the first approach. Hi, this is extremely random, but I think you're super cute. Thanks. <laughs> you're welcome. What's your name? Gabby. Gabby? Do you have a time to chat for a sec? Um, I have to go to office hours actually. So. 30 seconds. Now I have to like now I feel like I have to have like an elevator picture. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have for Halloween last night? No. No? No. What? What was your excuse for that? I'm pre-med, so I have a lot of work to do. Okay, like labs all the time? Yeah. Damn. Well, I'll let you go, but would you want to hang out sometime, maybe? Maybe. All right, let me get your phone number, Gabby, and we'll see. I'll shoot you a text. You, uh, David, in case you forgot already. Okay. All right. I love when the phone just, like, stops working. All right, go. Two, three. Yep. All right, so that first one was definitely pretty awkward, but I really tried to push the interaction and keep her talking just to show you guys that even if it is awkward, it's okay. You can still close the deal and get her phone number. Also, normally I don't like to directly tell her that I think she's cute as like the first thing I say, but it is a good thing to do for your first approach of the day because after you do that, then just going up and talking to a girl and making small talk seems super easy. Let's keep the video going. The second main tip I have for you today is that rejection is good. And what I mean by that is you have to sort of look at rejection as a important confidence building tool. Like most guys are so afraid of rejection that it keeps them from approaching and it prevents them from taking action. But if you make the mindset shift that it's actually a productive thing because when you get rejected, you become more desensitized to rejection, then on one hand, you're gonna be more likely to approach, and on the other hand, when you get rejected, you're not even gonna care about it. So I hope that makes sense. By the way, if you're liking the video so far, make sure you click subscribe and turn notifications on because I release videos just like this every Monday and every Thursday, and you don't wanna miss them. Time for our approach number two. Excuse me. Do you know if there's a cool coffee shop around here, but like not, not Starbucks? Uh, yeah, there's actually Pullman. It's right across from the team. Okay, and they have like all the basic like, yeah. like I, espresso. I'm yeah. all about my espresso. Yeah. They got it? Yep. What's your favorite drink? Just to get a quick, uh, uh, a quick inside uh, scoop. I mean, honestly, I'm a Starbucks person. But like, I know Pullman is good. I don't like, they're, they have like good like plain Pavement? Yeah. Okay, so I got like a basic espresso? Yeah, definitely. One more thing. Yeah. I know this is four, but I think you're super cute. Thank you. What do you want to hang out sometime? Well, take it as a compliment. Thank Have you. Have a good though. day. Yeah. All right, so there's two things that I want to say about that approach. The first one is that she gave the boyfriend excuse, and every time I get this in a video, I get a bunch of comments from guys who are like, bro, she's lying. She doesn't have a boyfriend. But here's the thing. If she uses that excuse, then either she does have a boyfriend and you should respect it, 
or she's not interested in you and then you just need to let her go and move on with your life and accept the rejection because like I talked about in the previous point, it's actually a good thing. Now, the second thing I wanna say is that I use that same line every time I get rejected and it works like a charm because it prevents the interaction from getting awkward and if you didn't catch what I said, all I said was, oh, no worries, just take it as a compliment. Anyway, let's keep this video going. The third tip that I have for you is to always assume attraction. And what I mean by that is when you approach a girl, you want to assume in your head that she likes you and she's gonna be attracted to you because most guys do the opposite of this and they assume like they're not worthy of the girl and then that comes through subconsciously in your words and your actions and she picks up on that. But instead, if you tell yourself before the approach that she's going to be attracted to you, then you're gonna be more confident, she's gonna perceive you as more confident, and everything's just gonna go that much more smoothly. Anyway, it is time to do one final approach. By the way, if you do not follow me on Instagram yet, then make sure you go do that now, because I post motivational things in my story every single day. Plus, I try and post good, casual outfit ideas that will help you look and feel more confident in yourself Let's go get this approach. Excuse me. I know this is completely random, but what were you for Halloween yesterday? Um, I was Kim Possible. Kim Possible? Mm -hmm. Is that a cartoon? Yeah. Oh, nice. Did you do any other costumes this year or not? Um, well, it's a really simple costume. It's just like a green shirt. And jeans, uh, okay. So, like, really you didn't have... put like super much effort into no, it? No, I literally have the Damn. clothes already. I got you. Yeah. Cool. I'll be honest with you. I stopped you because I thought you were super cute. And I was like, oh. I couldn't think of what to ask you. So I was like, ah, Halloween. How's your day going? Good, I guess. Nice. What's your name, by the way? Here, I'll, go, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay. Carissa? Yeah. David, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, <laughs> I got nothing else to say right now. But, how about this? Would you want to hang out sometime? Do you go here? I graduated a couple years ago. Okay. Then you? I'm a sophomore. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you like it so far? Yeah, I do. Nice. Alright, how about this? Give me your number. I'll send you a text and we'll see what we can make happen. Fair enough? Sure. Okay, cool. Go. Alright, I went out. Alright, so as you can see, I froze up there for a second. So I just went ahead and asked her if she wanted to hang out. And it worked. But I'm definitely off my game a little bit today. And that's all right. You have to realize that we're all gonna have off days. And even if you're not feeling 100% confident, if you take action, you can still have success. And that is going to wrap this video up. If you're a guy right now and you feel like you don't have the confidence you need to do things like this and approach women that you find attractive, then good news for you. I actually created a free online course that teaches you these small little challenges that I gave myself to quickly expand my comfort zone so that I was able to get to this point. And if you want to get access to that now, just click the I in the top right corner or the link in the description. And if you watched all the way to the end of this video, then what are you doing, bro? Make sure you click subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will talk to you in the next video. If I don't talk to you in the next video, I'm going to be mad, bro. Stay beastly. Oh.